How's it guys? Welcome back to FX Rhapsody. Today I'm going to show you a nice simple little um, scalping indicator. Combination of two indicators um, and it's going to be on the five minute time frame. Before we hit the charts, just go visit my website on the bottom left corner over here where you can find previous videos and analysis and previous strategies and indicators. Everything you want from a um, from your trading you can just find on the website there's lots of resources there go check out my preferred brokers they are brilliant when it comes to having a broker that supports your needs and everything that you want let us hit the chart so again this is going to be a quick video this is a scalping indicator for um, currencies i'm using it on the euro usd dollar found it very effective on the us um, euro usd you can try it on any other thing that you trade but first test it out so how the indicator works or the two indicators that you need to add first of all you go you must be on the five minute time frame like i said this is a scalping indicator it's in and it's out i'll show you exactly where to enter and where to exit indicator you click on that and what you type in first is right that nadaria watson envelope that's the one you click you add it to your chart and it will bring up the two um or the indicator basically um, again preferences <coughs> excuse me it's exact just as you want it so first of all i just change my colors i keep it like that the green and I'm actually going to change my green to this one and whoops not that and then I will change that red to my preferred colors so that's all that you need to change for this indicator and then the last little indicator just for confirmation because again you cannot try that indicator by itself and so we need another indicator just to eliminate those false signals so the last one we're going to do is the max ED um, diversions Okay, we are going to look for the Alex short one. Very nice to add to your confirmation. So again, you just change your settings. Click on the little wheel. Go to style. What I do is I take out everything at the bottom here. Every little click. Just leave the labels there. All I need is Max ED and the single line. So I just change my color to the green. And I just change it to my preferred pink or magenta to be correct so how this indicator works guys is as soon as there's a signal from the watson envelope if there's a green little arrow that points upwards okay that is the trend going up on the five minute as soon as that appears you don't enter right away what i want to what i want to see is more confirmation confirmation being in a cross of the lines at the bottom here so uh just want to bring this up a little bit so you can see so if whoops wrong button so i'm just gonna so every time the the green line crosses the pink to the up that indicates my signal to enter and vice versa when it you know crosses the green crosses the pink again we're looking for short so first of all first confirmation will be your green little arrow okay that is um or, or that it's showed by the Watson envelope and then the MAC diversions. So as soon as that line crosses, I will enter my trade. Again, five minute time frame. So I just enter my trade right there. My stop loss will be just below the band of that envelope. Okay, that is going to be my stop loss. If I just zoom it in a bit, my take profit area, I'm just going to scroll it across. As you can see, take profit area is as soon as there's another sell signal. And that is the signal to exit my trade. Okay, so as you can see, right around there, I'm just lowering that a little bit, zooming out a bit. And as you can see, that's a nice 7 to 1 ratio. It's a nice little hit. Okay, next one, same with the sell scenario. Sell signal appears, pink little arrow pointing downwards. I'll wait until the line crosses. Okay, and that is where I enter my sell right about there my stop loss is going to be just above that line or just above that band and if we scroll across what i'm going to wait for it's not always guys you need to be careful trade with risk as well it's not always that that pink arrow will appear and then i exit the trade i also look at my macd diversions as soon as this line crosses again you know as you can see down here then i start exiting so if i pull 
my chart to this or if I pull this area to the side okay and you can see that line crosses and it crosses down again so you can ride that trade just always be careful when you're riding those trades okay so let's exit there so that's a two to one ratio <clears throat> now what I want you to look out for and be careful for is these let's say false signals but signals that you need to be aware of or weary of so you can see a buy signal appear here okay that is perfectly buy signal now we wait for the lines to cross but you can see the line there's a little bit of a bigger gap in between the lines and if you move scroll further on you can see there the lines cross but once the lines cross you can see that price is in the middle of those bands so that's a bit of a i do not enter those trades i like to enter the trades when it's close to the edges of the bands <clears throat> like this one over here so you can see a sell signal appears and then you can see the lines crossing just after the sell signal appears a couple of candles not more than not more than six candles and you can see that line crossing and that is where you want to enter you don't want to wait too long like over here sell a uh, buy signal appears there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's too many candles after that when that um, diversions line cross so I would like to first see <coughs> excuse me I would like to see that line crossing right about five candles or so just after that signal appears so the signal appears of the um, the sell signal you can see the MACD line crossing there and that is where you enter your trade and this one again you know yeah that's a very short or small little um, risk that you're taking but look at that profit guys this trade just runs all the way down and you can see there another buy signal appears and that is where you exit your trade so that is again I'm just minimizing that because that is basically it 1 to 22 come on guys look at that so again buy signal appears ah don't enter so nicely so I'm just waiting you can take a risk sometimes but I mean this you will be stopped out so as you can see yeah a buy signal appears this line is already crossed so this is again a nice little area to buy so you buy into that your risk is very very minimal as you can see you know you just leave a little bit of minimal risk there and as you can see price going up once again and bam so you can go on test this I mean this is really worth trying again be careful for this type of move where sell signal appears um, you can see these long candles going one two three four five six seven eight so as soon as that line crosses you can see another bar signal appears so this is where you need to be careful because then you look at the bar signal and you look at a couple of candles up and you can see that you know it's more or less in the middle again yes you could have taken the trade as you can see um, let's have a look here when that bar signal appears you could have taken that trade it wouldn't have been stopped out but your risk is just a little bit too much for my liking I like it to have to be a little bit you know smaller especially when a scalping because yes you could have taken this risk or you could have taken a trade that wouldn't have been stopped out you would have still made your pips as you can see as price moves on to the side but again I don't like you know when it comes to scalping I like it to be the risk needs to be a little, little bit smaller than that so guys try out this indicator you know let me know what you think again I've been trying out for a while it works you know there's yes there is going to be trades that you're going to lose right there will be trades but I mean look at the risk look at the reward and as you can see just plot it on your chart watch it for a couple of days and you'll see you know if even if you lose three out of the five trades I mean look at that reward look at that so let's say you lost three you lost one two with that little bit of risk but you gained three um, let's say you lost three trades okay look at that risk and you won three look at the amount of profit you would have been in so be careful when you trade it test it out practice it guys I'll tell you you're gonna make a nice little amount of pips scalping the euro USD dollar using this um, combination of indicators so this is all from our side hope you are having a wonderful week so far um, don't forget to hit that like button hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell it's almost weekend again for more analysis coming your way so guys stay safe and happy trading. Yeah.